Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is your teacher Naeem, welcome to my channel and welcome to Multimedia English Lab. Today we have a, a new lesson, I hope that you are going to enjoy it, so let's get started. Okay, today's lesson is simply health problems, so we're going to learn some vocab and we're going to learn some communicative uh, way to ask and answer about health problems okay first we're going to name a few health problems we have a lot of but we are going just to limit ourselves to these I hope that you can remember these maybe 20 health problems so let's see what is number one okay number one headache earache fever cold broken arm cat sore throat toothache calf runny nose diarrhea backache measles pimple stomachache asthma dizzy rash stuffy nose we have others but we're going just to limit ourselves to these so when we talk about health problems we should talk about remedies and cure yes a cure okay we're going just to name a few remedies that we use to cure illnesses or health problems so first we have first eat the cat pills syrup syringe drops band aid x-ray stethoscope ointments medicinal herbs tonometer plaster inhaler cotton cold pack slints prescription a doctor gives you a prescription after being examined throat spray bandage and splint we have others but we just limit ourselves to these Okay, on your text, textbook focus, page 102, you have this uh, exercise, match the words with the pictures. We have some uh, health problems here. We're going just to match. So number one, that's backache, and that's stomachache, and that's headache, and that's toothache, and that's earache, and that's cold and that's sore throat you pause the video before you do the exercise and you can play it to see the answer okay when you have a health problems the question you can ask is what's wrong what's wrong or what's the matter what's the matter or simply you can see what's the problem what's the problem another way we can see also are you okay are you okay or you can say you look plus an adjective right? you look tired you look sick what's the problem so these are some questions that you can ask when somebody has a health problem okay the answer simply can be i feel plus an adjective i feel tired i feel sick or oh, no nothing i feel well or you can say i have plus a noun i have a headache i have a backache i have a toothache or also you can say my head hurts my stomach hurts okay we have this exercise on the same page of your textbook 102 use the table to write appropriate sentences i you feel have look well ill sick tired an earache a temperature okay a sore throat a toothache a headache a stomachache a backache examples so you can see i feel sick i feel plus an adjective or you can see i have a headache i have plus noun or you can say you look tired what's the problem okay 
on your workbook focus page 47 you have this dialogue we are going to put it in order it's between Fiona and Hanan so Hanan has a problem and Fiona is asking her we are going simply to put the dialogue in the correct order so what is number one yes you look pale what's the problem Yes, Hannah say my stomach hurts. I have a stomach ache. Yes, and Fiona asking another question. Do you have a temperature? Are you feverish? And Hannah says perhaps. I think so. And Fiona go on and say you should see a doctor that's a good advice and hannah says you're right fiona can you come with me oh i forget a question mark there and fiona is a good friend she says sure okay let's go on on page 99 of your textbook we have at the doctors okay so we have these two exchanges number one we have a doctor and he asks the question what's wrong and the patient says i have a headache and the doctor says you should do a checkup first and the patient say okay doctor i should examine you first and here another doctor asked her patient the patient says i want to lose weight what should i do you shouldn't eat much bread you should take these pills yes lose weight yes okay so you have some kilograms you want to lose them and become fit okay on the first exchange we have you should you should and on the next exchange we have you shouldn't you shouldn't so we have should and shouldn't we simply use these when we give advice okay so when you give an advice you simply can say you should or you shouldn't on the same page you have these problems and you have these remedies so you can ask your friend you feel tired what's the problem and your friend can say for example can say i have a headache and you can tell him you should call a doctor or you should relax so to give you an example okay we have this dialogue sarah and nora sarah what's the matter and nora i don't feel well sarah is it your head so nora yes i have a headache and Sarah says, why don't you take an aspirin? Why don't you take an aspirin? And Nora says, okay, I'll go and get it from mom. Yeah, we have, why don't you? We can use it also to give an advice. Why don't you? Why don't you take an aspirin? Okay, let's move on more examples on should or shouldn't let's see example one what's the matter with her what's the matter with the girl yes she has a stomach ache so she eats so much sweets should or shouldn't yes we see she shouldn't eat so much sweets next what's the matter with her she has a cough she take a syrup so we say simply she should take a syrup another one oh what's the problem with the kid 
yeah, he has a toothache. He go to the dentist. So we say simply he should go to the dentist immediately. It's very bad. And the last kid was the problem with him. Oh. Yeah, he feels sick. He goes to school? Oh no. No, he shouldn't go to school. He should stay in bed at home. Okay, so these are just some examples about should and shouldn't. On page 105, we have this vocabulary exercise. It's a funny way to remember some vocabulary here so we're going simply to complete this crossword puzzle number one i have a backache what i do okay the guy is asking for advice yeah what should i do what should i do so you can see you should or you can see you shouldn't Number two, I don't well today. We need a verb here. I don't feel. Number three, I have a terrible, terrible headache. And I need your advice. Okay, number four, take these and stay in bed. That's a good advice. Take these pills and stay in bed. In bed number five my stomach hurts my stomach hurts I have a stomach ache so that's a good way to finish this video and last but not least a good advice I give you and myself an apple a day keeps the doctor away yes because apples have a lot of benefits it keeps the doctor away first it maintains a healthy heart it relieves constipation it reactivates good gut bacteria it reduces cholesterol it helps remove toxins it helps control weight it decreases risk of diabetes it protects from osteoporosis and last but not least, it helps with cancer prevention. So that's why they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Okay, I think this is the end, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, stay tuned. We have a lot of more videos to come. See you next time, inshallah, and bye.